Hi everyone. I just wanted to talk to everyone and, and give you an encouragement. We, uh, we often talk, don't we, about living in uncertain times and uh, my, oh my, this is so true for us today. But know this, God's truth and our eternal destiny in Christ are absolutely certain whatever's going on around us. So as we spend time in our homes during what our government has described as a national crisis, you may face major questions about your health, your job, your finances, your children, your grandchildren or someone in your circle of friends. A factor which is impacting all of us at the moment is a lack of clarity about when everything's going to get back to normal, when the, when the lockdown will end, when coronavirus will be a thing of the past. Every day we have thoughts and conversations along the lines of everything's going to be better once this is all over. We'll be able to sort out X, Y or Z when all this is over. But the reality is we don't know when that's going to be. In many ways, you know, we'd rather understand the details of the road ahead than rest in deep intimacy with the God who's promised to direct our steps. And yet that's whose hands we're in. He's never promised to show us a detailed five-year plan or whatever. The call on us as God's people is to trust him, to live a life of faith, and to learn what it is to be dependent on Christ our Saviour above all else. Psalm 62 verse 8 tells us that we should trust in him at all times, that we should pour out our heart before him. It tells us that God is a refuge for us, and that's so, so true. Yeah, we must pour out our hearts and all they contain. Praise, gratitude, worry, fear, doubt and yes, uncertainty. God is our in the moment refuge, but he's not always a divine satellite navigation system telling us the detail of every turn that we might encounter a year or so down the road. But I want to say this, we can trust in him at all times. In Hebrews 11, we're reminded that trust is strongest when clarity is dim or even non-existent. Noah built an ark while waiting for 120 years for an unprecedented rainfall. Sarah was told to trust God for a child in her old age, with no clarity as to how such a thing could happen. Abraham went out not knowing where he was going, and later he planned to sacrifice his own son, with no clarity as to why he was called to do this, or what the outcome might be. The stories are many, but the truth is unmistakable. Faith flourishes when we're trusting God at the deepest level. So often we want to chart the course, but the Bible tells us to walk in the Spirit. We want a strategic plan, but Jesus says, follow me. We want all the answers. The Lord tells us to trust him because of what we know to be true about his character. Just a reminder that on Sunday we're going to be joining with our friends in Cardiff for their online service, and we'll be hearing from our Apostle Kerry Jones. All you need to do is to type All Nations Church Cardiff into Google or whatever search engines on your, your computer, your tablet, your phone, and then just click the link which says Church Online. The service starts at 10am on Sunday, but don't forget that the clocks go forward by an hour at midnight on Saturday. If you don't have access to a computer to, or, or any form of other technology, you can hear Kerry's preach by dialing 02920103031. That's 02920103031. You'll have 12 seconds of silence and then you'll hear Kerry's voice. Kerry has asked if you could have bread and wine or juice available in your homes so that we can break bread together. We expect that the service from Cardiff will be finished by 10.30am. The children's and youth teams will then be, will be in touch with you to give you a revised time for the children's and youth online get-togethers that are going to happen on Sunday as well. I believe it was a great time last week. But it's important also that in these days we pray and we fast for our city, the nation and the nations. And so we're calling the church to prayer and fasting on a weekly basis from next Monday. The aim is that we'll pray as a church, probably in groups of two or three using the Zoom app or WhatsApp, 
from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Monday. Your wonderful life group leaders will be in touch with you to ask which times work for you to pray. Number six, 24 to 26, say this, and I want to pray this over you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. I look forward to speaking to you again soon, but for now, goodbye.